But potentially a life-threatening gas enters Minnesota homes at a higher rate than it does in other states. During Lung Cancer Awareness Month, we wanted to better understand what is radon and how does it get into our homes? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned how to test for radon and keep it out. A competitive housing market the past several years has forced many prospective home buyers to get creative with their offers, sometimes at their own risk. Yeah, unfortunately, we did see a drop off in uh, real estate testing in 2022 compared to 2020, 2021. Dan Tranter with the Department of Health is talking about testing for radon, which gets skipped when home buyers drop the home inspection to make their offers stand out. What is radon? It's a colorless, odorless gas that's found in our soil. And unfortunately, Minnesota has high levels of this gas in the soil. It's a type of radiation. It comes from uranium. As uranium breaks down, it turns into radon. Once in the soil, radon is released into the outdoor air, but also into our homes through the foundation. It seeps through cracks or gets sucked in by machines like water heaters. The state estimates that 40% or two out of five homes have high levels of radon inside. Radon is a type of radiation. When you breathe it in for a long period of time, like months to years, it can damage your lung cells, which can lead to lung cancer. According to the EPA, radon is the number one cause of lung cancer in non-smokers, killing about 21,000 people per year. It was just like a heaviness in my chest and, and then really tired. Bonnie Mueller, an avid runner, suddenly couldn't do one of her favorite hobbies 10 years ago. Her family pushed her to get tested. And I had um, a large mass on my left lung. It had metastasized to my liver, my lymph nodes, and my pancreas. Bonnie wasn't a smoker, so a doctor suggested she test her home for radon. What is considered a high amount of radon? So when a radon level is at or above four, we highly recommend installing a radon mitigation system. Mueller said her home's radon level tested well above that mark. They quickly had a radon mitigation system installed. A pipe starts under the foundation while a fan draws air through it. So it's like a giant straw through your house that's redirecting the radon outside. So instead of coming into your home, uh, the soil gases, including radon, go outside. All of a sudden, it's like you just want to tell everybody, you know, go, go get your house tested. So this is a uh, short-term radon test. You can put this in your home for three to seven days. You hang it in the lowest part of your home that you spend time in. You get your results after mailing the test in. Some tests take up to three months, giving homeowners a long-term view of radon's levels in their homes. Radon is something we can test for accurately. We can fix it effectively. Jeff Wagner, WCCO News. Trancher says some homeowners assume their house is safe because it's new or their neighbor's homes were tested and had low levels. He says those are common misconceptions that could lead to problems.